Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert SVG to PNG files. So, you have this SVG file here, and this happens to me a lot with this specific file that I sell in my Etsy shop. Let's say that you have found a file online, and you really like it, and you just you go purchase it, and you didn't realize that it was an SVG file and you can't open it on your computer when you try to open it this this is what you get and you have no way to upload this into your um, printer or to put into your uh, print software for what you're wanting to put it on so basically this SVG file is unusable to you or so you think I'm going to show you how to convert it to a PNG so that you can upload it to your printer or to whatever program that you want to upload your PNGs to. And that's if you like the file as is. If you've got this, you think the colors are great, you're ready to go, you just want to put this on a t-shirt and move on with life, this is going to work out for you. If you want to make some edits to this file, say you want to change the colors or something, I have another way to convert SVG to PNG where you can change the colors too. But for the first one, real quick, you've got the file, you just need to convert it to PNG, and you like everything just the way it is. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come to this website, svg to png.com. This is a safe website. It's not going to download anything onto your computer that is risky. And um, you'll just click or type in svg to png, and you'll get this home screen here. Um, because it's free, you're going to have all these ads, but that's okay. So you've got two different things that you can do here. You can click here to upload your files, or you can drag and drop them. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to come and upload that Christmas tree file. So let me go find it. It's on my desktop. Here it is. Double click, and it will pull it in for me. Okay. That's it. Do you see that? It's right here. It says PNG. That's because it's done. Just like that. Click download. Here it is right here. It's going to be in a PNG format. If I double click this, I now have this in a PNG where I can use it any way I would a regular PNG. I've right clicked here and I can print resize, um, you know, do all the things that I want to do now because this is a PNG file. It's got the transparent background and I can do whatever I want with it. So it will save to your computer wherever you have set up to save your downloads. Mine go into a specific download folder, but your computer may be different. You might need to go search for that file. Okay, we're done with SVG to PNG if you want it just like it is. If you want to make any alterations to that file, you want to change the colors or something, we're going to do something a little more detailed. We're going to hop into a program called Inkscape. Now I have another video I will link to that will show you how to download Inkscape and how to set it up. It's not hard, but it is a download. You have to install it on your computer and it's free. So, you know, don't worry about having to pay for anything. When you get it, yours will not look like mine. I've got mine set up a little custom, but this other video that I'm going to link to um, in the description will show you how to download it and set it up, and it only takes three or four minutes. Okay, so I've got it all set up here. I need to get the SVG file uploaded into Inkscape so that I can edit it. I'm going to come to File, Import, and just go find the file. So again, I'm going to use a different file from my desktop. Here it is. So I've double clicked it and it will bring it in to Inkscape for me. All right, here's the file. Now this is something else I get a lot with this particular file. People will again purchase this not realizing it's an SVG file, they're thinking, oh, these are separate PNG files and I can, you know, put them on a t-shirt or whatever I want. And when they get it, they realize, oh, this is one group of all these files and I can't change anything. I don't know what I bought. I don't know what an SVG file is. Can I please have a PNG file? And I will redirect them to Inkscape every time and be like, here's how you can edit this and make it whatever colors you want. 
Okay, so here's the file. It is one group. All of this is in one layer. If I click it, everything is selected. And you can see all the different little groups inside this one big group. You have to ungroup everything. We're going to start with just this Merry and Bright. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can come up here to Object, and you can click Ungroup. And now every single thing you see has its own little square around it. And if you look over here, I am in this um, Layers and Objects tab. It's over here in my menu because I have it set up that way. But you can also get to it from right here. Or it's not really even super important if you are unfamiliar with design software at all. Just ignore everything you see over here and only pay attention to what's going on here. Okay, so I went to Object Ungroup and I got everything all separated out. Perfect. So now if I want to click this one all by itself, I can and I can come and change its color. Let's say I want this to be uh, this deep blue here. I'll just click the deep blue box and that will change. I can come to this one and I can make it all red and I can come to this one and I can make it a bright green. I can change all of these colors. But let's say I want to change each individual line. I want to take the four lines of this file and I want each color to be different. So I click it and I can ungroup it again. You can come to object and ungroup again or you can just double click on each portion. So let me show you, this one is still grouped together. I'm gonna to show you, I've got one group. I'm just gonna click on this top portion here, double click and now it will be ungrouped. This one was probably a bad example. It took that Christmas out. Let me do that again. So click here, double click, and my top one is now ungrouped from everything else. I'm gonna do it one more time down here. This is all together, double click on the top, and now I have it ungrouped from the rest. So I can come in and change the color of each line. Let's do red, green, uh, blue <laughs> and purple. That's horrible. I wouldn't want anyone to use that for a Christmas file, but that's how it's going to work. So let's say we've got everything, all the colors that we want it to be, and we need to now save each little one as its own PNG so that we can print it onto whatever it is that we're wanting to print it onto. We need to come back in and group everything together. So you'll need to use your mouse, draw a box, and group that. Object, group. Good. I'm going to make sure everything is grouped. Let's see. Object, group. Let's just make sure we've changed a lot of colors on things. You can also hit Control G and it will group everything together for you as well. Group. And that one was already grouped. We didn't, uh, we didn't pull that one apart. Okay, now do you see this white page here? I have mine set up to be an eight by 11 standard sheet of paper when I am working on a document. So what I want to do, if I only wanna save this first merry and bright, I need to move all the rest of these off of my page and they're all grouped together so we can just click and drag them all off. Now I need to take this merry and bright and make it as large as I can to fit the page but it is important to click this lock. Let me show you if I don't click this lock you see what's happening here it's getting all crazy scaled and we certainly do not want that to happen. If you click the lock you can scale it as big or small as you want and it will keep its ratio, it will keep its proportions. So you just make that big enough to fit the page and now we're gonna go ahead and save it. So come to File, Export, and you'll get this Export menu pop up over here on the right. Click the box up here that says Selection Click the box that says export selection only. Come down here and decide where you want this to go. 
So I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to name it export one and click save. Now this little box will pop up. If you don't know what this is, just hit OK. If you know that your printer needs a different type of um, color palette box, then you can come in here and you can click what is specific to your printer. But again, if you don't know what this is, leave it alone and click OK. And just like that, it exported. It's on my desktop. So let's go find it. Export one, there it is. Okay, there's that one. It's saved as a PNG on my desktop. Let's go do another one. So I'm gonna hop back into Inkscape here. I've done this one, I can even delete it. I hit backspace, it's gone. Let's do this one that we changed all these colors on. Okay, so let me enlarge this. So we'll have a nice big file to work with with our PNG. Okay, select it. Now over here, since we've already exported one thing, our export menu will still be pulled up. We're gonna click selection. This is our selection. We have to make sure it's selected. Hit selection, export selection only. Name it something, let's name it export to. Save. Yep, that's the way I want it. And it is now on my desktop. I can go open that file. And delete this one and just continue on doing this until you have all of them saved as separate PNGs. Let's go find export two. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of Inkscape because we're done with it. I don't need to save anything. Here's export two. And there it is. Marry everything and happy always. So that's two different ways you can convert SVG to PNG if you have gotten yourself an SVG file that you can't use. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. We'll see you next time.